this is me and I'm currently here at Hartbury College. I was very kindly invited by the Riding for the Disabled Association and I'm here for their national championships. As you can see behind me we've got the dressage going on. It's so huge here and the facilities look absolutely incredible so let me show you around. Oh yeah. Which one are we looking at? I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, is he having his um, main braided ready for this yeah, afternoon? He's doing a uh, dressage and countryside challenge and dressage freestyle. Oh wow, Actually, so he's going to be freestyle. Oh wow, so he's going to be very busy then. Very busy. <laughs> oh, best of luck for later, Peanut. Thank you very much, Peanut. Peanut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So we're currently in Barn C and I'm here with Daisy and Erin. So Erin, what um, group are you in, RDA group? Um, we're both in Abingdon RDA group. And so you've been doing some dress, dressage today, haven't you? Yes. Did it go well? Yeah, it went very well and I did walk and chop. Oh, oh that's so cool. cool. <laughs> Camera's coming. Hello. So Erin, tell me a bit about this horse behind us. So she's called Pit and she's quite young. Uh, she's our friend's horse. Oh, she looks so sweet. I love her blue eyes as well. She really reminds me of Mickey and her markings are so pretty. Okay guys, so I'm now here with Bethany and we've actually been talking on Instagram for about two years now. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> so it's really nice that we're able to meet each other. So tell me a bit more about your sort of RDA journey. Well, I've been with the RDA for I think about three years now. And I remember being really excited when I found out they did competitions like this, but I never really thought I'd be able to qualify or anything. So this year I was really fortunate to be able to qualify and so I'm competing in dressage today. It's very oh, exciting, I'm a bit nervous. Yeah. Oh. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you were qualified to get here at Nationals today. So I competed in one of the regional competitions. I think there's 18 regions and um, in your class, the top two people qualify if you get, oh, wow. if you get yeah. like above 60 or 5%, I think it is. So it's very exciting when you qualify. And then obviously the next few months you're preparing for the run up to the nationals. And then when you finally get here, it's, it's, yeah, it's just good. incredible. There's such a lovely <laughs> yeah. atmosphere here as well. It's really lovely, yeah. It's great fun. So tell me a little bit more about what the RDA means to you. Well, it's really great to be able to compete on like a level playing field because when you have a disability whether it's really significant or not significant it can be it can really put you at a disadvantage to yeah. other people when you're competing in against able-bodied people so it means that you get a chance just like anyone else would to compete and get experience in yeah. this so Bethany tell me a bit more about the horse you're riding today so I'm riding a horse called Vinny who I've actually only ever ridden twice and that is because the horse I was meant to be riding had an infection in his mouth with problem with his teeth. So oh, he's, I hope he gets better soon. I know, it's really sad. So he's very poorly at the moment. But thankfully my teacher was able to provide me with a horse. And I've only had two practices on him, so I'm a bit nervous about riding a horse that I'm not used to. But hopefully it goes okay. Oh, best of luck for today. Should we go and meet him then? Yeah, let's go meet him. <laughs> so this is Vinny. Oh, he seems so sweet. He's lovely. <laughs> Do you know how many hands he is? He's quite tall. I think he's about 16 hands. He could be a bit bigger though. Oh, he looks so smart with his plaits in as well. Yeah, that's courtesy of our friend Nicole. Oh. <laughs> Very good. You're a good boy, aren't you, Vin? Oh. <laughs> Excited. Show ready. Yeah. Warm as well. Yeah, it's so sunny and hot today. I know, I'm boiling already. <laughs> oh. What are you looking at? He's so well behaved as well. His manners are just amazing. Oh. It's like a big gentle giant. I know. <laughs> 
Okay, Bethany, best of luck for later. Thank you. I'm sure you'll do great. I hope, I hope so. <laughs> You're such a sweet. Wow, what an absolutely incredible event. I've been lucky enough to go to many international shows, but there's something about the RDA Nationals that is just the atmosphere. Everyone is so lovely and so supportive. And it just feels like a big, happy community, almost like a family, really. And it's so nice seeing people from different groups meeting each other again at Nationals who have met each other from previous years and are meeting up again. And it's just so lovely to see. The RDA Nationals here at Hartbury is one of the biggest events of its kind, bigger than the Paralympics, and there are over 500 different groups of the RDA, and they are so reliant on their 18,000 volunteers. So if you love working with horses and people and have some spare time, I definitely recommend um, volunteering. Hopefully at the end of the year, I'm going to go to one of my local RDA groups and um, see what it's all about and help out as well. Riverside! So I'm in the horse care and knowledge area and apparently today I'm going to have a little go at the advanced test. So we have lots of different things here. We have some feed over here, we have some poisonous plants, also some little mini mucking out tools. I've just um, done different colours of the horse and like markings and things. So there is a lot here to do. See, over here with different types of bedding. So yep. if you could tell me what those three are. Okay, so we've got straw, shavings and newspaper or shredded paper. In a particular one that you would prefer to use? I prefer to use shavings. Why would that be? Um, well, we have donkeys, so they like to eat the straw, oh. so that's mainly why, but I find it's more absorbent personally. And what about the paper? Would you ever want to use that? Um, probably no. not, just in case they ate it, especially with the ink on it and everything, <laughs> so yeah. Now, this, this is all dangerous plants that yes. you really, really do not want in your field. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think that is? Uh, so that's ragwort. Yeah. And this one? Is that deadly nightshade? It is, yes. Goes ahead, yeah. So and grass clippings. What about that? Absolutely lethal, aren't they? Yeah. People mowing the lawns on a Sunday afternoon, grass cuttings, field by the road. Yeah. Horses eat grass, don't they? Over the hedge terrible for the horses isn't yeah it? you know so if you're mowing lawns you do not give yeah. horses grass cuttings do you know? uh, what about this this is a very sycamore. poisonous in the field yeah and uh, some it? acorns and what about this is that you it is yeah yes. it's a yew tree yeah that's <laughs> also very dangerous isn't it so, okay top marks yes <laughs> i remembered everything <laughs> I'm currently here by the Countryside Challenge and this is really unique as a competition to the RDA. There are lots of different obstacles that you face in the challenge such as weaving in between different things, picking an apple from an apple tree or posting a letter. So it's supposed to be sort of like when you go hacking and different things that you do along the way. And something really great about it is it's really good for people's confidence as well as their balance and also building up their muscles and their core strength. Well done guys. Congratulations. Okay guys, I've had an absolutely incredible day today at the RDA Nationals. Something that's made me realise, or realise even more, is just how incredible the bond between a horse and rider is, and the trust that they have. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you would like to check out the RDA, then I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're new or have not done so already, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!